I don't feel like I really want a manicured yard when I live in the forest. So you're just a 23 year old just digging going out things out of the forest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Camera shy. this yard it's crazy <laughs> how do you like I feel like when I'm walking around I have such a hard time noticing these little tiny tiny ones like the one that you're standing right next to right <laughs> yeah, <now>. yeah. <laughs> how do you I mean how do you notice when you have all these new little dogwoods I don't know you just you just see them I I don't know <laughs> I moved to the forest to be in the forest and so if my yard looks like the forest that's great um, but I also think a lot of our plant choices have just been survival. You try to plant pretty flowers and the deer and the bunny come and eat them. And, um, and so you try to find things that have half a chance of surviving <laughs> against nature coming and trying to take them out on you. Um, and, and they're cheap. You don't have to spend money on them. They're right there in the forest and you just move them into your yard. So I think that's pr more of a practical sense, I think, than anything else. I've had some like 15 years old that are like this tall. And then I I've got some that are just in their second year that are that tall right now because I protected them from the deer. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. That's pretty cute. So yeah, that's why the fences. Deer just chomp off the top and then they can't get tall. We have what I've discovered from looking online is some moths that are attacking some of the mature dogwoods that we have and apparently when they're under attack, well under attack, they, uh, the moths just want to have babies, um, <laughs> they get them under the bark somehow and it like, uh, it destroys the tree and then what happens is they put off more flowers and so they have more seeds that drop. This is another one that has moth damage and so you can see the bark peeling away here and what it does is when it gets damaged it sends up all of these sprouts that head straight toward the sky from wherever it is that they're sprouting from. This one just happens to have sprouted from down at the ground. It's trying to save its life. So will any of those sprouts survive? I don't, I don't know. Technically I think we're supposed to take this whole trunk to the ground because if you leave it damaged it makes it easier for the moths to come back and lay more eggs and damage it further. But I don't know it's just so hard to bring yourself to cut one down you know they're so beautiful. And, yeah. I don't know. these two dogwoods when you moved in? These two dogwoods I planted here oh. after we moved in. Um, so they weren't here yet. I just found them in the forest. And this one I think is the one that we thought was dead because it had no leaves. But then suddenly it just developed leaves the next year and started <laughs> growing again. Um, but yeah, this one is amazing from inside the house because you you just look out the window and it, like in the fall, everything is pink or orange or red, depending on how, what it does that year. Um, yeah, they're just beautiful. And then they drop their leaves and so the light can come in in the winter and they're the best. Mm -hmm. 